everything went wrong from the time you came back from the window and talked about that horrid looking man you saw in the churchyard. Yeah, you probably bewitched the picture. Yes, I know, I didn't mean to keep you so long. Is that the man you don't like? I can't see his face, but it does look fat and soft. Somewhere or another. He reminds me of a dream. An awful dream I once had. Or was it a dream? How should I know? You were in it, so perhaps you might know something about it. Tessie. Tessie, don't you dare flatter me by saying you dream about me. But I did. Shall I tell you about it? Don't. One night last winter, I was lying in bed. I had been posing for you, and I was tired, yet it seemed impossible for me to sleep. I heard the bells in the city ring 10, 11, and midnight. I must have fallen asleep about midnight because I don't remember hearing bells after that. It seemed to me that I had barely closed my eyes when I wandered to the window. I leaned out and 25th Street was deserted as far as I could see. Everything outside seemed so, so black and uncomfortable. Then I heard the sound of wheels in the distance, and I waited for it. Very slowly it approached, and finally I could make out a vehicle moving along the street. It came nearer and nearer, and when it passed beneath my window, I saw it was a hearse. Then, as I trembled with fear, the driver turned and looked straight at me. When I awoke, I was standing by the open window shivering, but the black plumbed hearse and the driver were gone. I dreamed this dream again last March, and again woke up beside the open window. Last night, the dream came again. You remember how it was raining? When I woke up, I was standing at the open window. My nightgown was soaked. But where do I come into the dream? You were in the coffin, but you were not dead. In the coffin? How did you know? Could you see me? N no, I only knew you were there. <sighs> were you eating Welsh rarebits or lobster salad? What? <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? The man below in the churchyard, he drove the hearse. Nonsense. Come now, Tessie. Pose too long. You're nervous. Do you think I could forget that face? Three times that hearse passed below my window, and each time the driver turned and looked up at me. Oh, his face was so white and soft. It looked dead, as if it had been dead a long time. Look here, Tessie. You go to the country for a week or so, and you'll have no more dreams about hearses. You pose all day, and when nighttime comes, your nerves are upset. You can't keep this up. Then again, instead of going to bed when your day's work is done, you run off to picnics at Soldiers Park or go to the El Dorado or Coney Island. And when you come back here next morning, you are exhausted. There was no real hearse. It was a soft shell crab dream. What about the man in the churchyard? He's just an ordinary, unhealthy, everyday creature. As true as my name is Tessie Reardon, I swear to you, Henri, that the face of the man below in the churchyard is the face of the man who drove that hearse. What of it? It's an honest trade. Then you think I did see that hearse? No. If you really did, it would not be unlikely that the man below did drive the hearse. There's nothing in that. 